Hello YouTube, welcome to my other video. Let's play with a small compressor. I got it out of water dispenser. With hot water. It was completely destroyed inside, so... No way to repair those things, so... Let's hang out the compressor. And... I make my own line. Replace the capillary tube and other stuff of course no original evaporator and take a look at this minus 30 degree it does reach minus 29 but I don't know why it won't now that the thermocouple the probe connected here look at how much hard the compressor pulled on the 80 watts, 24 amps. So, the discharge line was connected to this pipe you know, from a line set, connected here to this old evaporator from a mini split indoor. I cut it in half, cut it really small, and that make it a small size, replace the U band on here, and it worked. And after passing through the condenser now, the output is connected to the cap tube. It's a cold liquid refrigerant. It's a subcooling output. This is where you want to measure the subcooling temperature and pressure. And this is the cap tube. There it is. It is connected here to this evaporator down here. It's made of small accumulator so from mini split outdoor of course just to prevent the whoa, just to prevent the refrigerant the liquid from getting inside the compressor. Look at that it's freezing. It's minus 27 now. From the small compressor. Anyway I do this just for fun. Look at the suction pressure. Wow, only 2 psi, isn't that amazing, I have to insulate all of this out, oh look at this, the insulator even get wet, amazing isn't it, it's for fun, because I'm bored with the temperature. From an R134A. It's connected. Look at that. That's it for this video. Next time, maybe I will do these things. Try to completely evacuate the R134 and replace it with butane gas. I use for welding here. There to gas for this torch that I use modify the head a little bit from the things and get it get to work I might do this or might not because it's a bit dangerous but that, that's where the fun came from so yeah I'll try it maybe maybe that's it see ya